Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today wherever you are in the world. <laughs> Check out um, Victoria. She's over here uh, fishing, it looks like, behind the house in the river. She's cracking me up. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Um, yeah, today we're continuing on our 12 Builds of Christmas mini series for the holidays. So let's head inside. We're actually on um, day three. Um, so yeah, just trying to think of um, a couple of ideas and what we can do to decorate the inside of our house. Um, if you missed the first video, we did this cozy living room and then we also did an elf workshop for day two. So for day three, um, I thought it'd be fun to decorate this small room here in the back of the house. Um, being that it's smaller, it does pose a bit of a challenge, but I thought it would be fun if we maybe turn this into like a little Santa's Photoshop, you know, like if you go to the mall um, in the holiday season and you take, um, you take pictures with Santa Claus, I thought that would be sort of a fun theme today. So let's speed things up and get going. I'm really excited to see how this comes together. Okay, so I'm loving the jingle wall, guys. It doesn't have the window on it. Um, I love how they how it twinkles, though. Check out the little lights when the lights are off. It's so cute. Um, and then just using a wood grain. This is actually the Nook Ink floor, but I think it has a really pretty tone that goes well with the build. And then using a couple of the red wedding um, rugs. Um, these are items that you can get in the June wedding season event. Um, you, you could go to Harv's Island and visit um, Reese and Cyrus to take anniversary pictures. Um, so this is one of those rugs. And just adding a few little benches here and spamming some furniture in that we can use for this build. Yeah, so what have you guys been up to on your islands? I'm curious to hear from you what you have been building on your islands. Let me know in the comments um, what areas you've been working on in your islands for the holiday season. Are you working on your entrance and creating a really spectacular um, holiday scene? Are you working on the plaza area? Are you working on your, your own home inside and out? Um, I would love to hear from you guys. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you're working on. Um, I am taking requests for subscriber island tours. In particular, if you have a holiday themed island that you would like to show, have potentially showcased on the channel, I'd love to come see what you're up to. So please check out the form. In most of my videos, there's a link um, to a Google form that you can fill out. Please include um, your dream address and a contact um, email or um, if I can find you on Instagram so that I can reach you because um, I definitely would love to see what you're up to. Okay, so just putting in some, some other items. We've got this little podium and a cute little camera to set out just for um, <laughs> the pictures to be taken, along with a couple of holiday candles. And oh my gosh, guys, the throne. I love this. Have you guys seen this item yet? It is so cute. I love it. It's available in a few different colors. Um, the upholstery is red, but you can see it's sort of got like a gold tone to the chair itself. Um, there's a couple of different versions of this with the wood grain. Um, I think one is more of like a pewter or silver color. So yeah, really love it. It's perfect for a castle, but I think in this case it works really well for Santa's portrait studio. So let's see, just adding a few other things like these um, festive trees and then a pile of gifts. Um, just kind of putting some little things in here to set out like Jingle's photo to give you an example of what you what photos you can have printed. And then I'm loving this little, um, I guess it's like a scrapbook. I think it's so cute. It's, it's slightly customizable. So I really think it's adorable. Um, and just putting in some other little items like this nutcracker and of course a garden gnome because um, he's going to be our photographer in this build today. Um, but yeah, just sort of rearranging some things. Um, I love these little toy type of items, like this little um, mini toy vending machine thing. I don't know if that's what you really call it, but it's super cute. It's like the type of thing you would see at the mall or at a supermarket that you can put a quarter in and get a cute little toy. Um, but yeah, loving that. Um, I'm thinking we probably need to add some of these really cute paper chains too. I feel like I've been waiting forever to find an excuse to use this item because it really doesn't go with farm core. And <laughs> for anyone that's newer to the channel, um, Sugar Bell is actually a farm core theme island. So, but oh my gosh, so cute, right? We've also added this um, adorable crane game. I love this item. I think it's so fantastic. And a little antique cash register here for our patrons to check out when they're done taking their photos with Santa. Yay! Oh my gosh, I think it turned out pretty cute. Not bad for such a small little space. Um, it really is challenging, I think, to decorate rooms like this that are smaller. One of the benefits of trying out the DLC is that you can change the dimensions of the room, which I think is awesome. It is such a huge benefit to be able to do that on the DLC and have ample space to be able to use all of the items because rooms like this, although they're small and cute, are a challenge to decorate, especially with bigger items. I really would have liked to have used the big festive trees, um, but of course they wouldn't fit. So it's kind of nice. So if you haven't had a chance yet to check out the DLC, it's totally worth your time and money. I promise. It's super fun. We'll be sure to actually do a couple of builds on the DLC as part of our 12 days of our 12 builds of Christmas series. 
we've got our little crane, crane game going um, and our little tiny little toy machine here. I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you will give this build a try for yourselves. And like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys have been up to on your islands. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to all the subscribers on the channel for all of your positive comments. They really, truly brighten my day and mean the world to me. You guys are amazing and I can't thank you enough um, for watching the videos and all the comments and support. You guys are the best. Thanks so much, guys. Wishing you all an amazing day. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.